If you've ever had smooth FPS one second, then sudden spikes or stutters the next, even though your GPU and CPU aren't maxed out, there's a hidden culprit you might not know about. PCI latency inversions. What's that mean? Basically, your GPU, SSD, and NIC are all sharing the same PCIe bus. When Windows doesn't balance their interrupts properly, one device can hog the queue, forcing others to wait. The result is inconsistent frame times, packet loss, or I.O. delays that feel like invisible lag. Today, I'll show you five real safe steps to fix PCI latency inversions using registry tweaks, interrupt balancing, and hidden device manager tricks. Let's dive in. Step one, enable MSI mode for PCI devices, GPU, NIC, SSD. Most modern PCIe devices, like GPUs, network adapters, and NVMe SSDs, support Message Signaled Interrupts, or MSI. However, Windows doesn't always enable this feature by default. When MSI is disabled, these devices revert to using legacy line-based interrupts. This can lead to issues like IRQ sharing, where multiple devices are competing for the same interrupt channel, resulting in unnecessary delays and higher latency. To solve this problem, follow these steps. Download the free MSI Utility V3 tool. The link will be provided in the description. Run the tool as administrator to ensure it has the necessary permissions. In the Utility window, look for your GPU, Network Interface Card, or NIC, and NVMe SSD controller. These are the main devices that typically benefit from MSI mode. Check if each of these devices supports MSI mode. If they do, you should see an option to enable it next to them. Tick the box labeled MSI for each of the devices you want to configure. For the GPU and NIC, it's a good idea to also set their interrupt priority to high. This will help ensure these devices have higher priority over other system interrupts, which can further reduce latency. For your SSD, you can leave the interrupt priority set to undefined, unless you're feeling experimental or want to fine-tune the setup. After configuring these settings, click Apply and restart your system. Enabling MSI mode for these devices often results in a noticeable reduction in latency spikes. By giving each device its own dedicated interrupt channel, you're minimizing the risk of conflicts and improving overall performance. Step 2. Registry Tweak force balanced IRQ affinity. Even when you enable MSI mode, Windows doesn't always distribute interrupts evenly across all CPU cores. In some cases, one core may become overloaded with interrupts while other cores remain idle or underutilized. This issue is known as IRQ imbalance and can lead to performance bottlenecks, especially in systems with high-demand devices like GPUs or network cards. To fix this, you can manually adjust the interrupt affinity settings through the Windows registry to ensure better distribution across all available CPU cores. Here's how you can do it. Press Win plus R to open the Run dialog. Type regedit and hit Enter to launch the registry editor. Note, be careful when editing the registry, as making incorrect changes can affect system stability. Always proceed with caution or back up your registry before making adjustments. In the registry editor, navigate to the following path. On the right-hand side, right-click and select New D Word 32-bit value. Name this new entry Interrupt Affinity Policy. Once the value is created, double-click it and set its value to 1. Here's a quick breakdown of the values you can use. Value 0, default, Windows decides how to assign interrupts. Value 1, spread interrupts across all available CPU cores, recommended for performance. Value 2, assign interrupts to specific core groups only. After setting the value to 1, click OK and close the registry editor. Finally, reboot your computer for the changes to take effect. 
This tells Windows to balance interrupts across multiple cores, preventing one overloaded core from becoming the choke point for your GPU or NIC. Step 3. Fix PCI Latency Timers in Device Manager. In this step, we'll adjust the PCI latency timers at the device level. These timers control how long a particular device can hold onto the PCI bus before it releases it so another device can use it. Fine-tuning these values can help optimize performance by preventing devices from monopolizing the bus for too long, which can improve overall system responsiveness. First, press Win plus X and select Device Manager from the menu. Next, expand the following categories. Display adapters for your GPU, network adapters for both Ethernet and Wi-Fi cards, and storage controllers for NVMe or SATA drives. Right-click on each device in these categories and then select Properties and go to the Resources tab. If you notice a conflicting device list, that's a red flag, meaning some devices are sharing IRQ lines, which can lead to performance issues. Pay close attention to this, as conflicts can cause delays or inefficiencies in data handling. Next, check the Advanced tab for each device, if available. Look for the following settings. Interrupt Moderation, Latency Timer, Receive Side Scaling, RSS, for Network Interface Cards, NICs, and Link State Power Management for Storage Devices. Disable any power saving features that could be limiting performance and set the latency timer to 64 or the maximum available value. For gaming NICs, it's also a good idea to disable interrupt moderation as it can introduce delays that impact network responsiveness during gaming. Step 4. CMD. Tune system-wide interrupt steering. We can use BCDE Edit and Registry Tuning to control how Windows steers PCI interrupts across CPU cores. To start, open CMD as an administrator. You can do this by searching for Command Prompt, right-clicking it, and selecting Run as Administrator. Once you're in the Command Prompt, type the following two commands one after the other. What this does is lock your system into a more predictable interrupt handling model. By doing this, interrupts are less likely to drift across CPU cores in an unpredictable manner, which can improve performance consistency, particularly in resource-demanding tasks. If you ever experience instability or need to revert these changes, simply run the following two commands to remove the settings. This will restore the default interrupt handling behavior, returning the system to its previous state. This simple tweak often stabilizes frame times when multiple PCIe devices are firing off interrupts at once. Step 5. Clean driver caches and rebalance resources. Old or conflicting driver caches can cause PCI bus contention. We'll clean them up and force Windows to reassign resources cleanly. Press Win plus R and type Clean MG and run Disk Cleanup. Check System Error Memory Dump Files, Temporary Files, DirectX Shader Cache, Delivery Optimization Files, then hit OK. Next, open CMD as Admin and run DISM slash online slash cleanup dash image slash start component cleanup slash reset base. Then press enter. This forces Windows to flush pending driver and PCI resource assignments. Restart your system. After this, Windows will rebuild device IRQ maps more cleanly, often reducing ISR and DPC spikes caused by poorly balanced PCI resources. And that's it. You've just gone through five advanced but safe steps to fix PCI latency inversions and balance interrupts across your system. We enabled MSI mode, unlocked hidden IRQ affinity balancing, adjusted PCI latency timers, stabilized interrupts with BCDE edit, and finally cleaned caches to ensure a fresh resource map. The result? smoother frame times, lower ping jitter, and reduced input delay, especially when your GPU, SSD, and NIC are all active at the same time. If this guide helped you uncover hidden stability and performance, hit that like button, 
share it with a fellow gamer, and subscribe so you don't miss the next deep dive optimization.